corporate crone gets got. When I was a porter at Burger King, one of my jobs was to clean the parking lot. We had a corporate crone who would regularly drop by for inspections. And she always would give us some inane task that took forever. We always knew when she came in that we'd be having a bad day. One day I was cleaning the parking lot oil stains with some heavy-duty degreaser. I had a deck brush and a bucket and a water hose. Here comes corporate crone in her fancy Lexus. She demanded I wash her car. I told her that I had degreaser. Not soap in the bucket. This was strong stuff. Like eat your skin up if you don't wear gloves strong. She insisted that she was corporate. And I needed to do as she said or else she could fire me on the spot. She actually called me lazy after I'd been out there for hours scrubbing oil spots. Well alrighty then Mrs. Crone. You're the boss. I gave her car a really thorough scrubbing with that degreaser. Leaving no spot untouched. I saw a couple small bubbles forming in the paint. I barely rinsed it. Just enough to get the suds off. Then she drove off into the sunset. The next time she came in. Her paint was flaking off so bad there were huge bare patches. I had tried to warn her. But hey. She is the boss after all. I don't think she ever figured out it was the car wash that did it. She tried to trade it in. But nobody would take it. She sold it at a huge loss. Corporate headquarters was actually right down the street from the one I worked at. I saw that splotchy Lexus every day on my way home until she finally sold it. Always gave me a chuckle. Must have been a real shining star if she couldn't draw a straight line between two points and figure it out. How the hell can they demand you to wash their car? Worthless trash. Lol. IDK why people like her think that their minimum wage fast food workers are at their beck and call. They don't get paid enough to care about the hassling. Hence the high turnover rates. I was lucky to have great managers when I worked my first fast food job back in HS. And I stayed with them until I graduated. The next time I had a job in the same vein. But at an entirely different restaurant. The management was horrible. They gave me mini Maltono training. Then yelled at me for not doing it correctly or quickly enough. I lasted two weeks. Then quit on the spot. It was a second job for me at the time. And I was only working there part time to try to earn a little extra cash. Point being. I feel your pain. And I'm glad you got her back. Lol. This is the best MC I've seen so far in this sub. Nice job. Too bad only her car and not her career was all washed up. You get my upvote for just the corporate clone appellation I would give 10 more if I could. Best MC I have read so far here. Even beat mine and I got my boss fired in mine. I used to work for the company that supplied the degreaser. That stuff is no joke. Reminds me of a joke. Old Mr. Johnson had retired with plenty of money. A determination to never do any of his own chores ever again. A fancy sports car. And a demanding attitude. Whenever he had a job he needed done around the house. He'd yell out to some passing kid. Hey, kid. I've got a job for you. He was brusque and a bit short-tempered. But he paid enough that he never had a shortage of willing workers. One day, he decided that the paint on his back porch was getting faded and was due to be redone. So, after putting in an order to have the paint delivered, he sat out front until a kid came by. And he called out, Hey, kid, I've got a job for you. He pointed toward his house. I've got a porch back there that needs painting. You up for some hard work? Quote. The kid, anticipating a healthy payout, said, sure, Mr. Johnson, I'll do it. He headed around back of the house, then came right back. Um, are you sure this is the color you want? He asked, holding one of the gallons of pea green paint that Mr. Johnson had ordered. 
I wouldn't have picked it if I didn't want it, Mr. Johnson snapped. Now get to painting my porch. I'm not paying you to criticize my color choices. You're the boss, said the kid, and went back around, then returned a moment later, biting his lower lip. Just, you're sure? Quote, get to it, demanded Mr. Johnson, and the kid shrugged and went to work. A few hours later, the kid came back, clothes speckled with pea green paint. Mr. Johnson, satisfied, handed him his pay, but as the kid was leaving, he stopped and said, I'm not criticizing your color choices, Mr. Johnson, but I think you ought to know, that's a Ferrari, not a Porsche. Burger King Corporate also can't make decisions at that level for a franchisee. Have it your way lady. Sounds BK appropriate. I am pleased you did not do the grit in the dust cap to slowly deflate the tires trick. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm having trouble finding that in my job description or duty list can you help me find it? I call creative writing. 1. Corporate lady was too straightforward with the I'm corporate do what I say. People in this situation usually have some interesting justification that MCERs love to share. This person is just the personification of the evil boss too. How does Op know the details about her selling her car? Finally, the paint job matched her soul. How on earth would you know she sold it at a huge loss? Nice. What country? Excellent. Lol. Sometimes you get what you ask for, eh? Nicely done, Op. Not only malicious compliance but a little petty revenge mixed in as well. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.